has exceeded 400 miles an hour as well in that airplane. So you can expect on the shoot, catch up Jeff LaBelle if you can. Then we got Matias High and it is Klaus One Thunder. That's the Thunder Mustang. We're gonna, oh, there he is, Yahoo! All right, Jim Rust. Something must have happened. All right, folks. Here they come down the chute and around that whole pylon. Well, it looks to me like the pole position being held by Jeff LaBelle is being defended. And right now, it looks like Jim Rust is right on his tail. And he was starting in the second position. So we'll see on the back side. Sure enough, Jeff LaBelle holding off Jim Rust. And look up high. That's Andrew Finley coming in from the way in the side. He was starting in the number seven position and he moved all the way up to third. So here we go, folks. These three airplanes, when they go by, they sound like unlimiteds. They're putting out 700 plus horsepower each and it's just incredible to hear. So from the left, here comes Jeff Lavelle coming around seven, eight, nine. And let's just listen to these three airplanes with 700 horsepower and twin turbos. All right, looks like Daniel Finley has taken over second. So now Jim Rust is in third. And then we got Matias Hyatt in fourth place. He's moving up, and he's got ahead of Peter Bowler. He's in fifth place. Then we have Vicky Benzing in sixth. George Catalano in seventh. Okay, from your left, here it comes Jeff LaBelle. He's moving. And looks to me like Andrew Finley's about a couple of pylons behind, but we'll see when he comes by. Here he goes, Jeff LaBelle. Okay, looks like Jim Rust is in second. Maybe Andrew Finley had to pull back some power. We got Jeff LaBelle, first place. Jim Rust in second. And we should be seeing Matias Hyde in his Thunder Mustang now in third place. This we should see Vicky Benzi in fifth place. George Catalona, who's in sixth. Wow. So right now, we got Jeff LaBelle coming from the left already. He is probably going to lap the last two or three runners in this race. And here he comes, Jeff LaBelle. I really want to see what kind of speeds we got. I hate to say it, I think he's pulling the power. Here we got second place, Jim Russ. He's got that green wing. He's kind of the voodoo. But since Andrew Finley's not there, he got to roll it back a little bit. But boy, that second lap, 405, that was awesome. Okay, now, from our left, we have who I think it's Peter Balmer. Yep, that's Peter Balmer in his gorgeous Lance Hill Lazy. He's Paul. These are our fifth and sixth place contestants, and we've on the back straight. We've already got Jeff LaBelle. Hey, we're gonna have the white flag for the leader, folks, but let's see from the last. This looks like Jeff LaBelle, and he's gonna gladly take that white flag. No. This is Klaus. Places the water, lands, picks up the water and the fish, and then from the left. Here we go. This is Peter Palmer. We've got Matias in the Thunder Mustang in first place. We've got Peter Palmer in the Lancer Legacy in second place. We've got Vicky Benzing in third place and George Catalano in fourth. Uh, okay, I think we only have four airplanes left. <laughs> what the heck? Here comes Matias. He must have a big smile on his face. He's been. Yeah, we got our race going out there with George Catalano and Vicky Benzing. But here comes Peter Palmer, our new second place racer. He's just going to be able to cruise. He's got. This is the first time this has ever happened, folks. I have never seen where the top three guys just up and left. But they did. 
and it's great for the rest. So here we got from the left, this is the real race. This is Vicky Benzi and George Cantalano, and look at George is making a move right now. He's going after Vicky. Is he going to get him? Wow! You know, if he's got some kind of a nickname, I probably should try to look it up. There he comes, Matias Hayes. Checking flag. Wow! So here we got Peter Ballmer, second place. Okay, folks, on the Valley of Speed, we have from military to school groups, casino trips, sport outings, lake tours, dinner parties, and more. We're there for whatever your group may be. FA 18. Now, in that amount of time, Vicki Benzing, race number 15, is going to park her sport class racer, go over to the Jets, down on our right end, get into a jet right after the FA 18. The National Aviation Heritage Invitational welcomes the Ellsworth Gantle Foundation as a returning sponsor. The late Ellsworth Ganschel owned and operated a beautiful Hawker Sea Fury for over four decades. Ellsworth was a regular at air shows throughout North America, including demonstrations with the U.S. Navy. This year, the Ellsworth Ganschel Foundation is sponsoring Nahi's Half Arnold Trophy for the best warbird restoration. Make sure you stop by the display to see some outstanding vintage, classic, and warbird aircraft.